Hello everybody, my name is indeed Cacti Mamba and today we're going to be doing a video about Gwen. But before we get into the Gwen video, there's something, uh, you know, there's a couple important things to talk about. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. So for one, it looks like we're going to get Jax as the fourth champion reveal, which is super hype. Keep in mind, I'm recording this on Wednesday, so... Maybe I'm wrong there. We haven't even seen the teenagers or anything yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be Jax uh, from the looks of things, and that's going to be exciting. I'm super excited to see what Jax is all about. There is a couple things that annoy me about his leak version, but I think that they're going to do a good job with them. They typically do a pretty good job with Legend of Runeterra champions and, like, importing them into to, to their game, you know what I mean, from League. So, I'm excited. I, I know that they're going to know that there's, like, a lot of different people for... Uh, you know, for like that, like Jax and things like that. And Jax is a, as an actual character is super cool. Jax is the uh, the guy that basically he's literally just like you know he he basically had to nerf himself. All right, that's how cool he is. He had to nerf himself by fighting with the lantern. All right, uh, so that's how cool he is. But then, so that's exciting, and I'm hoping that the design of him will be super cool. But the other thing that we need to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is we have a reoccur sponsor. We have a, a sponsor that has decided to sponsor our channel again, arguably the most important sponsor to the channel. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. The most important sponsor to the channel of all time. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm starting to, you know, use it just a little bit. It's my water bottle, ladies and gentlemen, but the reason why it's my water bottle, and the reason why it's so important is because... I thought I almost lost our sponsor, and I don't just mean from the channel, I mean completely. And the reason for that is because I accidentally dropped my my, uh, my beautiful sponsor down the stairs, and <laughs> I thought that this thing was just going to break in half, basically, because uh, it's a pretty, like, decently, you know, heavy water bottle. I was wouldn't have been surprised if it just completely, like, broke, shattered, whatever. Uh, it didn't. It's resilient. My my wonderful sponsor that continuously comes back to me. It is very, very resilient uh, and everything. And I need this sponsor, all right, people? Because if I don't if I don't have the sponsor, I mean, some of you guys might be a little bit of a lightweight when it comes to water drinking, but I'm a waterholic, all right? So if I don't get my water, then things are going to go bad. So I think that we, we can all appreciate today's sponsor. And if you have a water bottle like me, well, take a second out of your day. Let's drink to water. To the water bottle. All right. Now with that out of the way, on to important things like Path of Champions. Uh, so update on the Path of Champions stuff in general. I did roll for my new relics for this week. I I got a third Jarum's Fist. So maybe at some point when I hit level thirty, I will do a video on just three Jarum's Fists on the champion because. What the heck? Like, just, like, what is this? And then, um, the other thing we got was the, uh, the true ice flail, which should be fun to play with at some point. Uh, and I'm sure it'll have a cool effect. I haven't played with it yet, but we're not gonna play with it on Gwen. It doesn't make as much sense on Gwen. Uh, but one of the, the cooler cards I'd love to try out on some of the champions and stuff is, like, Luminous Orb seems really interesting to try and do. Um, uh... uh like, you know, Star Gem seems like a fun thing. A lot of these oh, rare ones seem really cool uh, to try out. And I'm sure they'll add more of the rare ones as uh, they, you know, with this new patch. So that'll be really exciting. But for now, let's get into the video. We, we've got, oh shoot, I've got to explain the relics. Oh my god, I'm moving too fast. So, the relics for today's video are fairly simple. But uh, one of them's more cool than the other. So the first one's Spell Shield, obviously. Spell Shield on Gwen is insanely good because Gwen needs to stay alive. She also, if she gets stunned, it stops her attack power once she's in her, uh, this version of her. It, uh, it, it stops her attack power. And then, the significance, though, is that for every single thing of hers, right, whenever she gets the, this part, she says it'll, it'll drain one from, from the enemy nexus for every two power she has. Well, no, actually, it's going to drain two uh, for every two powers she has because of the Ludens, right? And it would be even cooler if I had another Ludens because then you could do this twice, but we only have one. And so we're going to go with one, and we're going to go into it. It's going to be super fun. I love Gwen, but she is turbo broken, 
Uh, and I believe she is in the uh, S tier, potentially top three. You know, uh, so many different things and flexibility and things. And oh my goodness, we've got the allied buffs are permanent. Uh, we're using that one. Uh, and then Dark Guardian Gwen here. Yeah, I just I pulled the nuts draw, guys. Oh, okay. It, does this happen for any of you guys? Because it always happens to me. And okay. Scuffed part of the game here, I guess. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, now we can get in the first part. But yes, Gwen is severely OP. If you guys are... It's good that she's the only Shadow Isles champion and she's an OP one because otherwise it might be hard to kind of win some of, the, with the, some of the different regions that would require a Shadow Isles champion. But she's completely busted. So don't ever worry about, like, if things are going to go well with her because they probably will. Uh, I only have star power 2 on her, and I'm only level 15, and I'm going to dominate Galio, I promise. Uh, she gets so strong so fast, and it's there's just no way she's not good, in my opinion. I dropped this one just in case they had a second Cythria. They don't, but I prefer to, you know, kind of wait on it for a second. So, like, I don't even have the, the second power, though, so it's like you gotta keep it in mind. Here, um, then I play this. That won't actually kill him, will it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might not attack here, actually. Because then I also don't give him another Dauntless Vanyard here. And then I can just play this. And... I think I'll play one next turn. So... I'm gonna revive him. Oh wait, no, that's not. I wanted to use this guy and revive him here. There we go. Another hallowed proc, and then another hallowed proc, and now we're at three already. And then we're gonna play Gwen here, and there's no way they can stop the Gwen drop. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill you. We're gonna kill you, and we're gonna go in like this, and that should level Gwen here. Yeah, Gwen's gonna do. See, because since Gwen does... Ah, shoot, I'm one off. Man. Alright. Well, if I put her in this position, she would have, but I would have liked to get more buffs to my stuff here, so... And we've got Drain, so I'm completely fine to take a little bit of damage here, because we have Drain from Gwen. Uh... But we are going to do this, because we're going to lose Gwen. Yep. Dead, and we'll just block with you. Eh, we'll, we'll actually, they have quick attack. We'll keep them alive. So, unfortunately, we'll need a new Gwen here at some point, if we can. Okay, perfect. And so now we're out in a terrible spot here, but losing Gwen's pretty bad. We'll kill this guy and revive him. Okay, that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack like this with a, just a crap ton of... So, okay, perfect. We just did it, nice. The overwhelm is huge. By the way, if you ever get like full overwhelm on your cards, if like when you use the game, uh, I still think that might actually be the strongest version is to get the, um, the, like the Troll King's Crusher or whatever it's called, it's something like that. It's the one where it grants uh, Overwhelm to all allies, that one I think is actually one of the best perks on a uh, one just because it's so good, it's so strong. Uh, so yeah, it's something to think about. All right, what do I want here? Actually, Swain is pretty good here. And the reason he's pretty good is because when uh, does a lot of out of combat damage. So that'll be kind of interesting to do. I'll, I'll do that one. And I kind of want the item chest here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Alright, beautiful. As I drink more water, again, hinting to the, spo the sponsor, ladies and gentlemen. Use the sponsor. Use your own water bottle. But it will not be as cool as my water bottle, of course. But, you know... Not everybody gets that sort of, you know, luck and everything like that. So you don't even have to worry about it, you know? Just just appreciate what you have. I'm going to kill that guy. I do not want him existing. 
Unfortunately, they do get a copy of them, but that's okay. Alright. And then we'll just get this guy here. Alright. They're gonna pull somebody in for sure. Oh. No, they won't. Um. I actually think I might do this. Just to get, like, I can always drain it back up with Gwen. And then, by having this blocker here still alive, I can grant the attack on to Gwen as well, twice, because of her power here, so... Alright, and we just attack like this. We'll get some drain off, but the real drain comes later. Unless you sense, uh, remember guys, our buffs are permanent. So typically our guys don't live long enough for you to know that, but our buffs are permanent, so. Perfect. When is ready to go. See, like, we already did three non-combat damage here. Um, I'm gonna wait a second in case I need to... That's fine. Alright. Seems... Like, look at this, guys. I'm gonna drain 16! 16! Watch this Nexus, guys. Watch this Nexus. Look at that. Watch this Nexus go down. Because I'm draining 2 for every 2 power. Oh, it's a max of 50 times. By the way, I didn't know this... There's a max of 50 times that you can drain, I guess. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Which also, uh, levels Swain, obviously. Look at that. Look at all that drain. I went from being at 6 to 22. Like, that is disgusting. Even with the normal drain, that's still 8 health back. That's literally, like, going to a healer. Um, also... I forgot to mention, guys, uh, I just got the Legend level 22, which means at any time here, I'm actually going to back out real quick. We got to back out multiple times. This is so scuffed. Um, I got Legend level 22. Excuse me. And what that means is that you may now see champions uh, in the, the in reward picks and shops, so we can get new champions. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I've never even used this one yet, so I have no idea how it works. So we're, we're going to see throughout our run, but I just wanted to point that out, because it's super cool, uh, and stuff, and I've already grabbed the reward, right, or no, I didn't, uh, Elixir of Wrath is better, because it's a permanent buff as well, um, uh, and then it's either this or this, but I'm leaning towards this, eh. this is better, I think, actually, and then, what can we cut here, because we don't need healing, we already got healing, I think we're gonna get rid of this guy, I don't think we need him, yeah, I don't think we need the Imperial Demolitionist that much. Alright. So but yeah, we should be able to regen through, like, almost anything, really. It's pretty great. Not to mention, we also have the, uh, the upgrade stamina, right? Because we hit level 10. So, pretty disgusting. I might have actually... Sh I probably should have gotten rid of him. Just so I could get another one on the board. Now they can't drop Zoe. This is fine. And I can frostbite basically everybody. Oh, except him. They're gonna drop Zoe. Yep. And then it's gonna buff him. Oh, beautiful, we got Gwen. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, they didn't attack, really. Interesting. Alright, well, I get Gwen now. And now I get to kill her. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that's actually super scary. Um, I don't think it can attack. Otherwise, I'll lose Gwen. So, we're just gonna... We're going to have to leave that go for a second here, and then we're going to do the Crystal Arrow again. Uh... 
Like this, maybe? Eh. We can get rid of a guy here. Ah, perfect. Okay. So I don't need this then. I can't always hold on to the ravenous log. I don't need to use that yet. I'm at three right now. Okay, so I need to attack now. What do I do? Eh, well, what if I do this? Wait, I can't kill Zoe anyways, so let's not do that. Let's do this. And we'll just pull Zoe in so that we can level Glenn and do damage with Swain. If it'll go off. Alright, beautiful. So we're definitely gonna level Gwen here. Uh, we're so close to the killer, by the way. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I do have the ability to kill her, so I'm not too worried. Okay. That's fine. And we're gonna kill Swain and level him back. This level up is not affected at all. And then we have Atrocity if we need it. So, like, we can kill her. Uh... I almost kind of want to just atrocity Zoe now, actually. I think I can get another Gwen, but we need to stop her from being able to level up. Does that still go off? Victory oh yeah, I'll atrocity out to level Swain. Forgot to mention that as well. Uh, and then we'll... Crystal Arrow this... Alright, beautiful. You got a ravenous block there. Alright, that gets done. That's fine. And we've got enough blockers for everything else, so. Ooh, do we? Okay, I think we do. Um. Like this. Yeah, we, we do need to find a Gwen, though. It is the one difficulty with what I just did. I do need to find her now. Because I did kill Zoe, but, you know. They're both the same cost, so I'm going to play the Undyne, and then... Unfortunately, we can't find Gwen and play her at the same time this turn. That's not very good, actually. This is terrible, in fact. Um... I might have lost. It's like, crap. Uh, do I want to attack with Swain here? We are at war. Well, how many allies do I have? The Hello 7. Nah, it's not worth it to go there. I'm just going to attack with this. Yeah, they have to respond to it. I guess the one benefit would have been I have a Ravenous Flock to kill things with, but... Yeah, I think I'm doomed here, guys. Uh... Yep, we're doomed, unfortunately. Gosh darn it! Alright. I think I messed up by killing Wen, to say the least. Should have went a different way on that one, but that's fine. That's fine, I said I would dominate on Gwen and I will. This was a user error, not a champion error, right? Uh, but yeah, no, she is still very strong. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Gwen is giga-busted, and you would be hard-pressed to make me believe otherwise. Uh, because she's in the, that top echelon as of right now. Now, maybe that'll change with new patches and things like that, but as of right now, she's completely busted, and it's not even close.
You are so dead, Zoe. Bye-bye. Yeah, Zoe was gonna die there no matter what. The moment she was played, I was killing her. So, and then I'm gonna get stunned there. Yeah, unfortunately, she's gonna get at least a, uh... Oh my god, okay, it's gonna be seven attack. Oh my god. Sorry, not seven attack, ten attack, yeah. Alright, at least I get Gwen next round, and I can level Gwen instantly. So, and then I, I can potentially kill Zoe as well. Oh my god, they got, like, the one thing that they needed. Jesus, man. Well, I still have to attack with him, obviously, for the Gwen level. And then it's just all about, can I survive? I mean, maybe they block Gwen here because out of greed. Uh, they won't. They won't. Oh my god, they do! Yes! Let's go, they blundered! And I still have this as well, by the way, guys. Keep that in mind. Can they really... Okay, I was gonna be like, can they really buffer out a lethal range? I don't think they can. And then I can still... Uh... Potentially salvage. That might be the game-winning play from us right there. Because we also have this as well. They can stop things, so... Now, if I train and stuff, it's really good. Okay, well, they do have Elixir of Wrath, which is kind of scary, but... Uh, we get to play this. One more Hallowed Croc. And then we, uh, we can't obviously... We can just use this. We can use Gwen to start the needle if we really need to. Uh, we don't need to. Uh, go like this. And then we're gonna play units for the next turn here. Now, if I had Star Power 3, I'd be even stronger, by the way, guys. Keep that in mind. So, oh, this one has a lot of over. Alright, beautiful. And here we are, guys. Look at that. Look at that drain. Draining for 9. Healing for 18. Look at that. Yeah, you can take so much damage in this mode. Like, now I'm, I'm not even worried <coughs> about the, uh, you know, everything, so... And sorry, by the way, I did just sneeze, so... My apologies. Keep in mind, I can also atrocity, but I'm not even sure I'm forced into that scenario. I think I can just block here. Block and block. I can literally just attack. Now, if I had, had Overwhelm, I would have won the game right then and there, but I don't have Overwhelm, so... And then I just attack with both right here. And I win the game. Like, look at that, guys. Watch this drain from this snip snip. Like, look at this. Off of that alone, they got 20, negative 25 health. Like, the, the permanent buffs, by the way, are so good for gliding. Now, they're not as good overall in general because a lot of our units have very low health, right? Uh, which means they die fast. But, uh, so it's not great on a bunch of our other units, but on Gwen, woo-wee, it's amazing. Um, I think Challenger's actually better here. Because then I can decide who I want to attack and do, which can give me the kill instead of having to worry about, like, the, the top one. Uh, oh, I, I gotta reroll here. Uh, this is really good for us. So we're gonna do that, reunited. And... I think we're gonna go here. Into the Mage Seekers. All magic is dangerous and we're a magical creature. They're not gonna like us a lot. At all, actually. Alright. Uh... I'm actually fine with having two Gwens. Just mulligan that one away. They should have a lot of board presence early on to us, but once we get one, like that's the other thing. It's like you don't even—you're not even pressured to play a ton of characters really if you don't have to, because you know you're—you're you're gonna have board presence with Gwen anyways, so it's fine. Uh, we're gonna do that. Put an end to Mitch. 
All right, and then we're gonna play this, and then we're gonna play one. It's only once, we're only gonna get a plus uh, two buff on him for this alone. But if we can kill this, it should help us. And we're obviously gonna lose them to that, yep. But we do get the buff on the, or no, we don't level when we're gonna be one off, unfortunately. Yep. Oh, which is annoying, but there's not much you can do about it. We got another elusive blocker here. And we have a Gwen, so we're fine. Keep in mind that Gwen is hallowed, which means that she also gives buffs on death, so she's pretty strong, to say the least. Uh, and then, yep, so now we we get a fight with Gwen again, and this time he will level her up uh, here. We're gonna play this first, then this. Then this. And then I think we'll kill Gwen and then just revive her. Like so. And we can kill off a priority target here, maybe like this guy. And then we can kill this guy here, and then we can attack with him. I think. Eh. I might actually not attack with him. And then just get a bunch of buffs on Gwen here. Already at 16 attack. And I have Atrocity next turn to Defender. If I need it. And then if we can keep her alive for one more turn, then we have the Swain level. Because there's no shot she's not leveling. If we, if we attack correctly here. Alright, we should just be good to drop this one down. Like so. It's only gonna frostbite him, but that's the only one we need frostbitten. That's completely fine. Get you dead, you low. And you know what? Why don't we just kill Swain? We can get him a new one. Eh. Is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it. We'll kill him. That's fine. We can go like this. They're gonna drain it all up, anyways. And we'll do just we'll just drop something here. Oh, she has the support one. All right, uh, we're just gonna do this. Look at that, guys! Look at that! It's sixteen times. Well, just atrocity here. Yeah, they didn't think through that part. Gwen still lives, so... Beautiful! <laughs> Alright. And... Like, Swing's good, but he hasn't really been too important for us, which is fine. This is actually pretty good, but it's the fact that it's so expensive that I'm not sure I want. I think the Wings and the Wave is decent. Spells chest. Harsh winds or brothers bonds is what's better probably. And thread the needle is another one and also generated card. I like that uh, more. All right, let's see. Did we get a champion? We didn't get a champion. This is good. Uh, we didn't get a champion. I guess we'll just have to hope at another one that we get a champion here. I guess. We can definitely outlast this deck. That that's not even a question. I'm not even worried about that. But yeah, I'm such a bump. We didn't get a champion on our first shot. Wonder what the rarity of it is. <clears throat> oh, two double oh my god. Okay, we can level one on the first attack. And we can kill them. Beautiful. That's fine. No. Oh. 
I'm okay just letting him attack and then this next round here when, when it really picks up. What a strange, wonderful world. More myself than ever. Please don't hurt them. There we go. Get some drain off, and then we're just gonna absolutely murder them with Gwen. No matter their resolve, mine will be stronger. Boom! Let's go. Alright. We've got Gwen leveled already. We can play Swain this next turn here. I have Frostbite in case I need it. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna save you, buddy. We'll play him first, then Swain. And then we can just pass here because they're not attacking. Let's go. We'll go here and then like this. And we will completely just dominate this right here. Look at this, guys. Just watch. We do so much damage. Oh my god. And it, it would only max out even more. And that's with so few hallowed, by the way. That's permanent buffs as well. It comes so good. Boom! Swain, baby Swain. Swain's gonna do Omega damage to the Nexus too whenever he hits. Look at that. Boom! We have done what is needed. Beautiful. Like, we're all about going face with this death. And depending on how lucky we, we get, we can kill Viego pretty quickly. But Viego will be kind of difficult, I feel like. Uh, well, we already have Challenger on her, unfortunately. But, I mean, I uh, won't give her another thing, so I think we'll just go here. Viego might be a little bit difficult for us. I'm a little bit worried, but I think we'll be okay. I don't think I want the Undying anymore. Not really that useful for us. So we're going to go in like this, and we're just going to go for it. <clears throat> Alright. Beautiful. Like so. I think that's fine. So the only frustrating thing is, is that our uh, units are meant to die, which can lead to some problems, obviously. Uh, like, we're, that's dead anyway, so why don't we use this to kill it, and then we have another attacker here, and we're going to open attack, otherwise we're not really going to get anything out, oh, no, we won't open attack, actually, crap, um, it's not worth it to open attack, so we're just going to do this, I think, maybe I'll just pass, see what he does, I might kill this off here, Um. I'm gonna do it like this. Kill them off so they don't get the extra mana gem. And unfortunately, they will revive that. Uh, yep, I was gonna say they're gonna revive the Kim Warren soldier. But there's not much we can do about that, and then they're gonna drop Diego this round, which was expected. But fortunately, I can do this. Which should also buff this guy for us. And that removes the spell shield off Diego here, and then I can play this. I would pass there. So he's not going to get any of the buffs here, which is good. It slows him down. And then we should be able to just kill the Viego this round. All right, beautiful. I think we're in a good spot. I think we should be able to kill Viego, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to do it like this. Kill you, kill you. Like so. And that should... Yeah, I was going to say that should level her up. 
And then we're gonna kill this guy. So we can keep them alive, and then we'll just kill you as well. And I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Yep, nice. Okay, so we killed the first of the Viegos. No nice. One is leveled. One has 16 power already. Good for the drain. Alright, beautiful. And then I've also got the atrocity. So I should be able to just attack next turn too. When I come back. That having challenger is a little scary. Harrowing. Oh boy. Uh... Well, luckily, he can't really, like, level or anything. He's just gonna do some damage, so... We will... Just play this, I guess. Alright, and then we're just gonna have to drain with Gwen next turn. And we'll play the Conductor of Mist as well first, and then we can play Gas to the Band afterwards if we need to. That is terrifying, though. Uh, we'll play this first in case they have removal. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna remove. Oh, never mind. They went for the wrong target. They can't get rid. Of, they cannot get rid of Mike Wynn. Uh, we're gonna go like this, like this. And like that, and like that. And we've got exactly lethal, baby. Let's go. Alright. Exactly. Well, one less than exactly lethal, but it's still basically there. Look at all that drain. Drained up to full health, and then some. If, if Now imagine if I had an overwhelm on Gwen, by the way. That would actually end these games a lot faster. Like, Overwhelm on Gwen would be so good. Just a stitch in time. We're not doing bad so far. This is a slightly slower version of the Overwhelm style type, you know. But it's good. I like it a lot. It's fun, especially. Um, we've already got so many copies of her, I think... Meh. I don't know if we need the healing, though, whenever we summon her. So this might be better. The only other thing I think of is, like, maybe tough on her is good, but I feel like this, just making sure we're drawing her is good. It's good enough. Uh, grow my health to match my power. Now that's good. That's really good for our card type. Dude, are we not going to get any shops, man? Like, we'll get, like, one, maybe, and then potentially with the champion in there? That's crazy. That we'd only get, like, one shop with the champion. Uh, what if I just keep this entire thing and then just draw a Gwen at the start? I am the escape mage, sir. Sorry. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Oh, Play this first. Kind of have to kill that, otherwise it'll snowball, but let's see if they play another one. Alright, yeah, I gotta kill this. Alright, beautiful. Now Gwen's also gonna get that health buff, by the way. Ah, oh, beautiful. Alright, uh. Just pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, and now we get Gwen. Look at that. Look at that. Gwen's already leveled. Totally new. And she's still a 10 out of 10. Yes, you are, Gwen. You're a 10 out of 10. That's right. Uh, and then... We're doing pretty good. Oh, we got another one. Just frostbite him. All right, that's fine with me. Play Swain here, and then I think we'll just pass. Yep. 
All right, beautiful. Like so there, I think is what we're gonna do. Look at that. Crocs nine times. Victory awaits. By the way guys, um the neat thing too is that uh with that there are also our powers, right, include the raiding party. So we're granting our top ally right now a lot. A bus. A lot of bus. I don't think I want to play this right now, actually. No. So we're just gonna. Pass. I don't think it's good to level. Or, uh, like, buff them right now, so. We're gonna do that. And then. Oh, we still have a unit, unfortunately. But we can play this on him. And we do have to thread the needle if we need it. So we can save our swain here. We'll do that. And yeah, this one's decent. And we're in a pretty good spot right now. The other player could have done his halfling toss plus soul shepherd. Okay, well that's annoying. Uh and we will do it like this. How many times? 14 times. I wish we would have been able to see that unit, but it's like, even if I didn't kill them, how big would that unit have been? It's just sitting there. Like, we're getting a, uh, over 11 proc times or something like that, so it would have been 11, 11, plus 14, or like 15 or 16 or something like that, so it's like, that thing would have been over plus 20, plus 20 on the unit thing. That would have been insane. Alright, I wish we could see those now. Uh, this is really good for Swain, but this is actually way better. Uh, four mana atrocity is insane. We'll get a second chance. And this is useless for us, so we're gonna go to the shop. Champions! Where's the champion? Uh, we're gonna reroll, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna do the reroll here. I wish there was a champion, though. Like, man, that would have been so cool. We'll get multiple of these just for the barrier. The life steal is nice too, but we already have life steal through Gwen, and then actually, like maybe Elytros is pretty good. Like I don't think we need a n more than one copy though. Eh, actually, two copies is fine. I wouldn't go three, but two copies is fine. And then Dawn Speakers probably work. Mm. This one's actually probably a little bit easier to go against. We're gonna go here. Dawn Speakers might snowball a little bit, whereas, like, this one, I don't think they're going to snowball on me. I have so much life steal that it should be okay. I need more water in my cup, guys. This is sad. I'm already finished with the sponsor. We'll just drop that now. Yep, they won't attack. Of course they won't. Play that now. Always something like that. Cause like, why would we give them a free kill there? Beautiful. All right, now we're just kind of chilling. We're probably not going to drop Gwen this turn. You know, hypothetically, what if I just went like this? You know what I mean? Two, two, by the way. So that gives us two buffs onto them. This is really good in the Galio, by the way, that card. Really good in the Galio. Um... You can just pass like this, and then do this. And since that's going to die anyways, we can just kill it. Please. 
and then we can play Gwen next turn. And we should be in a really good spot. We've already got the three hallowed deaths on her, meaning we're going to get a plus six buff. Plus the plus three, so we're going to get a plus nine here. Which means we're going to be at 13-13 if I get my math right. It'll do less damage, but we don't lose this guy, which is what we... Oh, shoot! No, I forgot to use the Elixir Breath. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It could have been a 16-16, but that's okay. We will live. Alright. We can play Swain this round. By the way, Ladros helps Swain as well, so... Ladros is just good with our deck in general here. And boom. Alright, and then we can play Lagers at the start of next turn. Oh, right, and all buffs are permanent. Shoot, I forgot about that. Except Barrier, obviously, so we don't get Barrier. But watch, she's gonna level swing. Boom! Now there's no shot, they're blocking everything. No shot. No, they also have a Lagers. That's so unfair. Luckily, I get to do this, though. And we should be good. I didn't even need this, which I was just kind of saving, I guess, for the next game or something, because... Look at that. I killed them without even choosing anything else. By the way, Swain would be such a fun champion to play as, um... Uh... In, in this mode as well. Like, having his actual build around deck. I would love to see, like, most of the champions get added at some point for me to play. Like, that would be so fun. I think that this is a mode that, like, will have even more stuff to make videos about over time. Just as we get more and more stuff there. But for right now, obviously, we're not as, uh, as many people. And I'm surprised we didn't see any champions, though, in any of the shops, by the way. Uh, it kind of bums me out. I wish we did. Um... Do I need to get rid of anything here? I kind of like most of the stuff I have. Like, maybe Ravenous Flock isn't that useful. As, like, an actual card. Because that's all I can think of. Like, Sapling Toss is pretty good. Like, especially if this is Shivana, right? Like, uh, actually, with Shivana, I don't know if Sapling Toss is that good. Yeah, we might get rid of Sapling Toss here. Alright, let's get rid of Sapling Toss. And then here we go. Time to make an impact. All right. Nice. This will be a good starting hand. The dragon's rage claws. All right, beautiful. Yep, and then we can play this. Things are different in the field. Unfortunately, we won't give any buffs anything, but it slows him down enough for us to play this next uh, run out. And then I'm going to play this. Alright. Then I'm going to play this as the first play first. And then I'm going to play this as the last wave to kill this. Beautiful. And now we play one next turn. Look at that, baby. The first one or the last wave, is that what it's called? Yeah, first wave, last one. Yep. Alright, and... I'm not sure what I want to... I think I'll kill you with him and then go like this. And I think I should kill Shivana. Oh, I don't kill Shivana. Then I might want to kill you. Yeah, I kill you. Okay. Perfect. Oh, shoot. 
Well, that's annoying. Maybe I should have went after Shivana, not the other way around. Oopsies. And it healed him. If it hadn't healed him, I would have lived, but... Fortunately. I do level Gwen, which is nice. Alright, well now if I draw Gwen, I have her, but otherwise I'm screwed. Because now Shivana's also leveled. Oh shoot, and Galio's coming up as well, just because of all the stuff that they have here. They don't summon Galio, so I don't know why they're passing, but alright. Oh, they do? What? He's at 19. Right? Oh, I guess if the round buff happens. Okay, that's stupid. Um... Okay. Kill you first. Like so. Um... I'm not sure who I want to get barrier here. I think I'm going to give it to him. And I can kill the galley if they attack. Which they just attack with him for whatever reason. Uh, like so. We kind of just have to give them the Shivana kill. Yeah. That's what we'll do. And we can still play Sway in here. Basically a free champion. Okay. And they do get another Galia, but I should be able to kill Galia this turn. Oh shoot, wait, when did they take him? Oh wait, no, they don't. Oh, okay. I was mistracking on stuff here, so that is my bad. This is really bad. Like, this is really bad. Because then they've got the strafing impact for my swain. Oh my god, I might... If I don't draw Gwen, guys, this is really bad. If I had any way to break spell shield, I could kill the Shivana, or like at least damage her. But I don't have any way to break spell shield. I guess maybe I could either atrocity this, but that would still level, or I could do this, and then at least level Swain, right? We'll do that. Victory awaits. And then at least gives him one more attack, even though he's still gonna get completely destroyed. And yeah, we're in a really bad spot now. If we hadn't lost Gwen to that one attack in the most unfortunate manner ever, then we would be completely fine right now. But it's because of the fact that we unfortunately lost Gwen. Gosh darn it, man! Can we draw Gwen here? We do not draw Gwen here. We gotta play them. Oh god, that is terrifying. Just gonna get fully healed. Yep. Okay, let me. We just, we're in survival mode right now. Uh. Yeah. We just have to pass. Oh my god, we got Gwen, but it might be a turn late. Gotta... Oh, what? Uh... Here, maybe? You need to do it to them or to them. This one might be more productive. And then I get a Manifesta card. And we'll play this guy.
Okay, I don't think they can... Oh, actually they can. Shoot. I think I lost. But we'll play him first. Then we'll play him. Yep. Couldn't win, guys. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. The one attack where I lose Gwen actually lost me the game. And then I was one away from being able to get the Gwen back and then potentially do something there, but... Jeez, just wasn't good enough. That's crazy. Oh, boy. Well, wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I completely forgot. The Rekindler. I forgot I got another... Re oh, my gosh. I forgot I got the Revive token, guys. Oh, man. I thought I was down for the count. I don't want Ravenous. At this point, I'll just go for it. I go like that. All right, perfect. And we're gonna be able to draw a Gwen here. Shivana's obviously gonna get dropped, but there's only so much we can do about that. Wait, why wouldn't they play that first? Because now I can just crystal arrow that and they get nothing. And this gets buffed permanently. So whenever I have it in the future, I get buffed. Okay, that was really confusing to me. I thought they would have played that differently, but we'll take that. Overwhelming, oh my god, that's really good. Overwhelming Fearsome on that card is pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, this one first. That's fine. Well, it's not really fine, but it, it'll have to do. Alright, they're gonna have a... Okay, well, actually, I have to play this now, because I need blockers, so... Otherwise, I, I wouldn't normally play that, but because of the fact that they have so many things on the board, we need blockers for them. Yeah, that's really scary. Um, I just have to survive for one next turn. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to survive for one next turn. Yeah, the, the Shaman is leveling for sure. But we can kill this guy at least. There are, none like me. are there now, Shivana? Are there now? And luckily we at least have spell shields, which should make it pretty tough to just to kill one with. And we're gonna kill you. Because we do not want that guy existing. Alright. Now we're gonna play Gwen this next turn. And then we have two spirits refuges for Gwen. That that should be enough. Okay, doesn't matter which one I play. Okay. Well, that's fine. It doesn't go on Gwen. Unfortunately, I won't get as much of a buff from everything here, but this guy's holding on to one of my guys, so I gotta get him out. I prefer to kill him first, but I think I need the blockers here. It's the sheer number of them. And we still level Gwen anyways. And we have a second one in hand. Plus Spirit's Refuge. We're looking pretty good. I'm not going to lie. We're looking pretty good now. Um, so that's good at least. And, oh my god. They're going to get a Galio, man. Oh, and it's all because of the stupid thing here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Now it's a little bit of crisis management here, guys. Wait, how did they get a second Shivana? What? Okay, well, we kill our Galio at least. But I guess they get a second Chavana there. I don't even know how they got it. Yeah, they're definitely still going to get a second Galio this next turn as well. Uh, maybe this guy. This guy seems a little bit better for us next round. And Gwen's going to get a lot of lifesteal, though. Oh, my God. Actually, might be game winning here playing this. But it's really greedy. We're gonna play it. Uh, 
That's fine. I think I am going to be in a good spot here, guys. Oh my god, I'm one off winning. Wow. I'm one off. Okay, that's fine. That's not that good. They mobilized when it's not in a good spot for them. I can't believe I'm literally one damage away from winning the game. We have Lajos for next round. We have this as well if we need it. If we get Atrocity, we win the game. We're in a pretty decent spot here. And even though the, the Shivanas do have Spell Shield actually, so that is kind of scary, but we should be okay. We're going to play you because obviously these guys are dying. I'm not even sure. I think I have to go Spirit's Refuge. I'm just gonna pass. You know, I'm just gonna throw the needle here and go there. Wild Feast seems pretty good. So does Spirit's Journey. They're both good. I think we'll go Wild Feast though. So that, that this guy doesn't heal either. Beautiful. And we'll just play that. And then we get an attack next round. I think we win the game, guys. I might be mighty style. But I'm all hot. Alright. That was my Galio impersonation. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, and we'll just go like this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. 23 times. I'm okay with them, dying. All right, I, wow, that revive token from her Kindler truly did us a solid there. Jeez, look at all that drain, guys. That'd be enough to heal like 120 uh, health nexus or something. Look at that. Wow. Whew. Did you see that? I did that. Me. I can't believe we just won that game. That's crazy. I really thought we were down and out for the count. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was like, no, we just we lost it off that one bad trade with Gwen, but man, we two of the boss battles we need to revive tokens for, so um, um maybe I'm getting rusty, guys. Maybe I'm getting rusty. Uh but yeah, no, so this should be coming out uh Trying to think. It won't be coming out on... The next reveal is on Friday, and this should be coming out on Friday. So hopefully today, if my guess was right, then we should have Jax coming out this next... Uh, on, on the day that I'm dropping this video. So I'm, I'm hoping we'll have Jax at that point. So, But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm excited about it. And I'm happy I won that. Uh, I'm, I'm crazy game, so that, that was super fun. It was... Just, I don't think Swain was the strongest champion choice I had, and I do wish I had uh, gotten the champion rewards, but what can you do? Uh, I'm sure I'll see it at some point, but with that being said, guys, the, the only champion I still have left to do is uh, Miss Fortune, which I will definitely get to uh, try and attempt and complete before we do everything here uh, with the new expansion. So with that being said, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So peace!